Welcome to A Perfect Place to Start. I'm Catherine, and on this channel we do home decor and DIY projects. Today I'm going to be participating and hosting the tiered tray collaboration that happens every third Thursday of the month. So stay tuned for a little bit more information about that. But if tiered trays and tiered tray decor sounds like something you're interested in, then stick around, like, and subscribe. So today I'm going to be creating three different tiered trays, and I went to Hobby Lobby, and when I was there, I saw several different trays. Even at half off, they are about uh, $25 to $35, and I thought we could build it ourselves. So if you've never like kind of gone around in Hobby Lobby, there's clearance items like throughout the store in different sections of the store. So not only are they just over like where they have the home decor on sale, but even you can go into the departments and find things on sale. And so that's what we're building our tiered trays with today. Items that were on sale at Hobby Lobby. So I picked up these two baskets. They were in the spring shop and they so they were 50% off and then this candlestick was also 50% off in the candlestick area and so this tiered tray is going to cost us a little bit over um, a little less than $20. I believe it came out to be $18. All I did was take some hot glue, glue my candlestick into the bottom basket, and then glue the top basket on top of the candlestick. Super easy and super adorable. So what do we do with it? How do we style it? Here is what I chose to do with it. So I had some greenery. I like to pick up my eucalyptus at um, Hobby Lobby or you can get it at Hobby Lobby in the big strands you can also get it at Walmart for a very good price and I just went ahead and filled both of my little baskets with some of that eucalyptus. I picked up these rabbits at a thrift store and they were a group of three rabbits in three different sizes and so I'm just going to go ahead and situate them into the basket and then using some other tiered tray uh, DIY projects that I've made on this channel. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down in the uh, description box. But I went ahead and took my beaded garland that I created that said Faith and then my little house that says Faith lives here. And then here is a final look of it all styled together. So for this project, we're going to create a wooden tiered tray, and like I said earlier, all of the items for this or this video were from sale items from Hobby Lobby. So right now they have a section that is 75% off in their home decor area, and their spring shop is also 50% off. So all of their signs that are in the 75% off area are between $250 and like $5. You can't beat that. You can find all kinds of different shapes and sizes. You can use glassware if that's something you want to do. I found my candlestick for the middle of this tray over in the candlestick area again um, but it was also on clearance so I picked up this uh, picture it was like $2.27. Our candlestick was $3.99 and then our other uh, wooden piece to go on top was also like two dollars and something so this tray cost ten dollars a little bit less than ten dollars to make um, and this one happens to be my favorite one of the day so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cover all of the pieces with my white folk art chalk paint I even cover the metal tin candle holder just because I want them all to match and then I took a sanding block and sanded off the metal parts so there wasn't paint on those parts I just took hot glue and I glued it into the middle of the stand now this one I glued a little bit slightly to the back just because I wanted this one to be more of a front standing one but if you want this to be a 360 then you just go ahead and glue it in the center So today's video is part of the Tiered Tray Thursday Open Challenge that I co-host with Crafty Weenie every third Thursday of the month. Go down to the description box, check out the playlist so that you can see all of the Tiered Tray inspiration for today's video. So we're ready to style our wooden mixed metal tiered tray and so I'm just using again some pieces that I already created. I'll link this video also down in my description box if you want to check out how I created these. But I just have a little pot that has some lavender and then I have these two wooden pieces. I'm going to place those in the front. And my girl came from a thrift store and I just painted her with some white spray paint. I also decided to add some more eucalyptus to the top 
top of my tray just to give it a little extra element and then here it is styled. Hi friends! Are you enjoying today's video? I hope so. I had a lot of fun making these and if you're enjoying it as much as I did, I hope you'll go down and hit the like button so my video can be seen by other people. So for this video we're going to be making a metal bucket tier tray and I realize that this one is not actually a tiered tray but it is a tray and these single level trays are one of my very favorite ways to decorate with things. Um, I have bought ones that were already uh, like made that you can get at Hobby Lobby and I got them. The one that I have that's my favorite I picked up like when it was 75% off the spring shop. Um, mine was a little crooked but you couldn't tell. But I recreated this by taking one of these buckets from the spring shop so it was $5 and then this metal tray I picked up at a thrift store. I just hot glued them together and voila you have this super cute little stand, a riser if you wanted to call it that. Um, I love to style these the best. So I'm going to give you a couple options here using some bee decor that I purchased at Hobby Lobby and made. So I created this pot and there's a couple different ways you could use this. I picked up these plants on Amazon and I will link those down in the description box. But if you don't have any mini plants like that that you like, you can also just use greenery and stick your greenery into your pot. I'm using my eucalyptus again and I just took a few sprigs and put it in there and it makes a super cute um, little floral arrangement as well. I'm going to go ahead and style it using my little plant though because I think these are absolutely adorable. I then am going to show you a couple different things. So all of the projects or all of the products up here I either created or got from Hobby Lobby. The bee came from Hobby Lobby but you can just put a very you know just several different things on here. You could also use a little beescape. I created this one um, but they are super easy to make so if you want to learn how to do that if you haven't learned how to do that yet I will link that video down below. Um, I felt like that was a little tiny too big for my pot and that. I also created these cute little blocks and these were a Dollar Tree DIY and I will link that down in my description box as well. But here's what I finally went with. I think it's adorable and this is so fun to decorate with. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I had so much fun creating these tiered trays. I hope it inspired you to go out and get some items that are on sale or even if you're a thrifter, definitely thrift stores are a way to find lots of really fun and unique items that you could create tiered trays for. Don't forget to go down to my description box and check out the playlist so that you can see all the other tiered trade um, inspiration ideas and you can get lots of ideas to get out there and do some crafting. If you like today's video, here is some other videos that you might be interested up here at the top of the screen. And as always, wherever you are in your journey is a perfect place to start. And I will see you in my next video.